Hi everybody, it's Ebony and I'm your cool, competent counselor and I'm going to be coming to you with Wednesday's Wise Tips. Um, this is the first edition of the Cool, Competent Counselor, but I wanted to share that it's the beginning of the school year and I wanted to talk about developing relationships with teachers and the counselors and administration. Um, as a counselor, I've been a counselor for almost nine years now, um, it's important to not just have those parent conferences uh, when something's wrong. You can call them just to do a check-in, even though I know most school districts have um, systems like ParentLink or Infinite Campus where you can check up on your child's grades. It's always good to kind of reach in and have those conversations like, you know, how are they doing? What do you think they can do to improve? Um, and so then everybody in that particular school community knows I'm an active, involved parent and I want to know what's going on. So um, it is the beginning of the school year. Some of those open houses may have happened already um, and things are starting to slow down as most schools are getting prepared for count days. But, you know, call that counselor and say, hey, can I slide in for a parent conference just to kind of meet with my kids' teachers and, and get an idea of what's going on. Um, I've had quite a bit of issues already. Um, and um, where I've had to have negative parent conferences, but it would be great to sit down and just say, hey, let's game plan for the future. Let's pick these electives accordingly so that you're benefiting from um, the classes that you're sitting in because electives should be um, an entryway into different careers. You know, you choose them wisely. Don't just, oh, well, I'll take this. Um, and as parents and guardians, the, the kids aren't going to know. So, you have to be that voice of reasoning for them to say, hey, let's make this a positive choice. Also with those electives, most colleges want at least two or more years of a foreign, foreign language. So, you know, just encouraging your students to make sure that they're taking those foreign languages and, and making sure that they're pushing themselves towards rigorous classes. And that comes from you meeting with the counselor so that the counselor knows the expectations in your home. So once again, parent conferences, they're very important. Don't let them just be negative meetings. You can have those positive ones where you're just kind of sitting and giving the teachers and the counselors an understanding of what your expectations are for your child. Okay, so this is the first edition of the Cool Competent Counselor, and I hope that this has been useful information. Please, if it has, please like, comment, and share. I will make this post public so that you can do just that. Until next week, have a great day.